Hey gamers, it's Xbox Gamer Dad White here, and uh, I'm going to be showing you a new feature on your Xbox console. Haven't you always wished that you could install backwards compatible games on one hard drive, apps on another hard drive, and regular Xbox games on a different hard drive? Well, in the, in the past you've always had to do that kind of manually, pick the hard drives. Now you can set the default where those are going. So let's jump into it. I've got couple additional hard drives so let's get them hooked up and uh, see how to set the defaults okay everybody let's take a look on how to set the default install locations so on your controller go ahead and hit your uh, Xbox button and uh, go to your profile and systems move down to settings and let's bring up the settings. Uh, we're going to go to system, so scroll down to system and move over to storage devices. And you should have a list of storage devices of, of whatever um, hard drives you have. Here's the internal. I have a, an external that I store my games and everything on right now. Um, here is the one I just installed for backwards compatible games, and here's one I'm going to install for apps. So here is where we can uh, see our, all of our hard drives. So if we go to change install locations on the left hand side at the top, you will see three options. Xbox One games, backwards compatible games, and apps. Right now, Xbox One games are defaulting to the internal storage drive. That's okay. That's kind of where I want most of my enhanced games in, in my Xbox One games. Um, for my backwards compatible games, I, it was set to my Xbox One USB hard drive. But let's set it to the hard drive that's called backwards compatible. So that way I know all my backwards compatible games go there. And because I don't want my apps and my games all in the same location, let's change our apps to the apps hard drive. Okay, now we have them set. So right now we don't have any games or apps installed on them. So we can do a quick test. So let's go down to the store. And let's launch the store. So let's look for apps on the so on, on the left side of the menu. Let's go to apps. And let's just look apps in. Okay. Let's look at installing apps. And uh, we're going to install Paramount because I know Paramount's not installed on here, so let's go ahead and get Paramount. Now you see it says install. You own this. It's queued up to install. And we can see that it's installing. And it's, now it's installed. Let's go check and see where it installed at. Let's go see where it's installed at. Storage. Let's go down to our apps. We're going to view contents. And we can see that uh, there's no games, but there's one app and it was installed. So we know that that the uh, that worked. And just for fun, let's go ahead and... and uh, Find us a backwards compatible game. So we know Game Pass has a lot of backwards compatible games. So let's take a look at Game Pass and see what we've got. Uh, 360 is a backwards compatible game right there. We'll just pick that one. Let's just hit the install. And let's see it installing.
So we switched gears a little bit, found us a different game because it's going to install faster. The other one is quite large, so found a smaller game. And it's almost done. There we go. Now let's check it the same way we checked the other one. Do you see? Shows that some space has been used. Obviously games are bigger than apps, so the, the percentage used is a lot better. Shows two games, one being installed and one already installed. So that's how you uh, can uh, set default locations for different game types. So backwards compatible games can be on one hard drive, apps can be on a different hard drive, and the Xbox One games can be on a completely different hard drive. So uh, just remember, settings, system, storage, change install location, there you are. Be able to change the uh, default install for the different options. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, hope to see you all in a game sometime soon and, uh, and team up together. Thanks a lot and uh, keep watching.